Butters, people in. Buttershy doesn't know how to make his mind. Um, please, please let people in. We're waiting. Too bad, you Oh. Oh, Fluttershy, you're such a loud mouth. I'm so frustrated, I could just scream. I'm so frustrated, I could just scream. That's a good scream. I can't do her scream very well. I can do her whimper pretty well. <laughs> That's what we should do. Flutter whimper off. <laughs> Why not? No, I practiced the scream. I was like... I did the scream... I did the scream for my Fighting is Magic audition for that, but it didn't sound very good, so I cut it out. Like... I recorded like five minutes worth of Fluttershy, and then I had to like listen to it for three hours, and I cut out little teeny. Well, the thing is, is my, I'm like my Fluttershy. I know she's not as good as like half the girls out there, so I don't Fluttershy ever. Fluttershy is the easiest one to voice act, quite honestly. Yeah, and so I don't ever like try to push her. I just it's more of the, one of those things where I'm like, well, you need a Fluttershy, and you I really do don't want to like open auditions for other people, so I'll just do it mm -hmm. here. I'll just do, yay, blah, 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 blah. And then they go, okay, well, let you have the part, you know. Yeah. And that's how it ended up happening for some of the stuff that I got here with. But then, mm. no, Pinkie Pie is the one that everybody's like, I don't know, can you do Pinkie Pie? And I'm like, heck yeah, I can do Pinkie Pie! There you go. I can't do Pinkie Pie. I don't even need to have a microphone whenever I do Pinkie Pie. I can just totally, like, what's the word? The closest, Scream! The closest thing I can do to Pinkie Pie is my derpy. So. I Does can't anybody do, want a muffin? I can't do derpy. Really she don't always like ends muffins. Up, she always ends up sounding like the derpy from, uh, from the show, the original voice. Oh, uh, like I just, I don't, just know don't know what went wrong. Instead of I just don't know what went wrong. You okay, Rainbow Dash? I don't like that voice. Anything I can do to help? It sounds like minty. From I G3. like I like her original voice because she sounds kind of like a boy because well, she is a boy. Tabitha saying. Yeah. Derpy's not a boy. No, she, that's what she, Tabitha thought she was Tabitha a boy. Tabitha thought she was a boy, yeah. I was like, Derpy, I wish I could talk Derpy like. Derpy has eyelashes, girl. I wish I could do a boy voice. This is the best I can do. Yeah. Actually, I just did, I recorded a Scottish boy for, uh, like, like three lines for the for Sherlock Hooves. Hmm. And his name is Victor. I was going to say, did you do the do or deer voice, but. Huh? There's some, 4chan's trying to do an episode, a full-length episode, called Do or Deer. They're basically oh. stealing Lauren Faust's oh. idea to have a deer in the pond. Yeah. And there was some Irish-Scottish audition for that that I heard that was really cute. Yeah, no, the, uh, it was basically like, you know, not even an audition, it was just more of a, Vicky, can you do it? I'm like, oh, yeah. you'll take, okay. I suppose I s sort of did it like this, but it wasn't a yeah. very good because I can't, I have to read. I have to read it. Right. Panelists introduce themselves. Yeah. Talk briefly about their work. Whenever I have to do a Scottish accent, I have to act like Merida from Brave for a second. Just yeah, to no, I it. do too. Mom. My bow. My bow. You totally should cosplay as Merida. I'm going as Merida for Halloween. Yes. High five. <laughs> Sorry. I'm, I'm about as, well, I'm not as big of a Disney like geek as a, most people, but I'm a Disney I, geek. I'm I'm a, I'm a pretty big Disney geek. I'm excited for Frozen. I'm so excited for Frozen. I am worried. Well, I don't know. I Frozen don't, basically looks like Tangled with Snow right that's, now. That's well, the no the the teaser trailer. I was like, I don't know what they're doing with this because it was like Ice Age. It's like I I know the storyline, but hi, hey hello. I have no idea what I was gonna say. For voice acting. If you want to learn how to voice act, just listen to us for 50 minutes. See, we're acting right now with our voices. Oh my goodness, more people are coming. Oh out. Lord. Hi wow. Sam. We've got people. Oh, oh my happy. Oh goodness. my goodness. What in the? <gasps> we suddenly. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm not here right now. You can't. Don't see hide. Me. Don't hide. Take that off. Take that off. Don't hide. Holy poop balls! Oh All my! Right. Was that a? I have to watch my language. Somebody, I will. There's somebody behind the curtain. Yeah, I think they're trying to get in. <gasps> oh, that's not the entrance. What happened? Wow. My hair is probably a mess now because I put that on my head. Why are there people here? I don't want to. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Don't hide! I can't do this by myself. I'll just be really, really small. That doesn't help me. 
Oh, I'm sorry. Please get off the floor right okay. now. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Do, <laughs> Do we really need these? I, maybe. I don't think we do. Can you guys hear us? Can you hear us just fine? Can you hear us? No. Cool. Okay. Fustro. Yay. <laughs> if you can hear us, say yay. <laughs> that was okay, I guess. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, should we get started then? I guess. So. Wait, what time is it? So we know how much time we have. It's so we, it's a forty-five minute, which is fine. We're good. I think we can do everything in forty-five minutes. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, do you want to introduce yourself first? Sure. You guys know what, why you're here, right? Yeah. Do you guys know why you're here? I mean, you're not just like sitting down because you're just here to because you're tired. You shouldn't be tired. It's nine in the morning. Wake up. Yeah, no, no, no. All right, so this is a voice acting com in community. I can't call it that because voice Rena acting in the community or something. Or I don't know. Something I don't like that. <laughs> community voice acting. That community way we can't get in trouble acting. with Rena. Oh, would we? I don't know. That's her panel name. Okay, well, community voice acting. Community Hello, voice everyone. Acting. Hi. Uh, my name is Vicky. Uh, if you don't know me from voice acting, which I'm sure you probably don't, but uh, if you're in the CFB, I am your admin and queen, and I will ban all your butts if you don't have a good time, so you better have a good time. Are you going to have a good time? Okay, good. So you got a yay. Yay. All right. And who do you play? Oh, right. Who do I play? See, do I don't play? read anything. Okay, so if you have seen any of my stuff, how all right, raise your hands if you've seen vinyl scratch or listened to vinyl scratch tapes. One, two, four? Four. Five. Five. Yay! Okay, so I play Octavia in that. I've done Octavia in a few other things too, but I can't remember what they are right now. Uh, who knows Doctor Who's Adventures? With the jam jar, not with the one with Keiko and Gilly and Pierce Mulder. That's who's an assistant. Um, I, okay. I do a few minor voices in those, but there's also Pony in a Box shows for uh, Daring Do Adventures, and I play Daring. And then there's the spinoff for Doctor Who's called uh, The Goodnight Journals, and I play Goodnight. And then there's other stuff where I'm like Fluttershy and Pinkie Pie and all kinds of other random... I do voices. <laughs> I, I, I voice with my mouth hole. All right, Meredith. There you go. Okay, hi everybody. Um, my name's Meredith Sims. She's more famous than me. No, I'm not. <laughs> uh, let's see. I just moved down here from Indiana, so hi, Florida people. Um, I hope I get to know you guys more. Uh, I live up in Orlando right now, but I'll drive down to things. Okay, um, who have I played? Uh, Fighting is Magic. Uh, I was Twilight Sparkle for that. Um, Rest in peace. <laughs> it's not dead yet. It, it's it'll be different. It'll be different. Don't worry. Um, yeah. Let's see. Um, anything from Silly Philly Studios? So Twilight the Unicorn. I played Flutter High in that. And uh, Snowdrop. I I was Snowdrop. And I uh, I actually wrote Snowdrop. So Snowdrop's very dear to my heart. Snowdrop is her baby. Yeah, Snowdrop's my baby. <laughs> little random things. Uh, Journey of the Spark, I'm doing Twilight and Fluttershy for that. A uh, few other little random things. I'm in Legends of Equestria doing some ponies right now. So that's that's all I can think of right now. I've, I've been in more. I just can't think of it. I'm sorry. I should have like a list. We should have lists of what we've been in for yeah, this I, kind of situation. I thought about it and then I thought, I'll do that later. And then it was later and I said, I didn't do it. So... Okay, so this is the plan. I have a few little preset questions, just things that you guys might be wondering about <coughs> voice acting. Um, other than that, we've got two different things we could do. We have, I can, we can open up questions to everybody else, or I brought scripts of something that I wrote last night in a sleep-deprived haze, uh, and you guys can voice act with us if you want. Um, so yeah, if you wanna voice act with us, I have scripts for that. And it's just a little short fun. Silly thing. 
Or if um, we get through with that, we can do like one or two questions afterwards. Well, we could do both. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Everything. It'll be fast. All the things. We'll do it at the same time. Oh my gosh. I'm a multitasker. Um, okay, so basically, uh, my first, the first thing that I thought you guys might be wondering is, what does voice acting in the Pony fandom and voice acting in general entail? Uh, how do you get into it? How do you keep getting work? Uh, is it paid? I'm sure you guys are wondering that. Um, let me answer that last one. It's not usually paid at all. It's um, only paid if you can get into something real, like not fandom based. Because copyright issues. Because copyright issues. So if you're looking Unless, to voice act, you really need to be looking for it for fun. Which I'm guessing is why you guys are here Or anyway. you can become famous and then commission your voice. Which some people do. Um... But I haven't seen many people do it lately. Last I time either. I saw it, it was it's for like emergency funds. Pretty so much. yeah, just do voice acting for fun. That's what I suggest. Uh, how do you get into it though? Basically, it's the same way you would get into voice acting in anything. First off, you have to find your range. Uh, like I would have a bit higher of a range in my voice that I can play with. She has a little bit lower range voice, which is why she does a lot of lower. Not characters. exactly. Well, you do Pinkie Pie. I actually, I'm really high. I just talk in a low voice normally because I want to be taken seriously. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But voice acting, voice acting really isn't about making funny voices. It's working within your range and acting through that. So, for example, I couldn't go much lower than this when I voice acted without it straining my voice. Nor can I go any higher than this without it straining my voice. Like, you hear the cracks. So you have to kind of stay within your normal voice and then try to just act. You have to be able to act to voice act. And yeah, you have to be able to thing. act in front of a microphone with nobody in front of you. If you have to yell, you yell at your chair because you're very angry at your chair. Yeah, it, the thing <laughs> is, is it, it, the talent and the skill comes from being able to emote as the character while just reading lines and imagining the other people talking to you if you're not recording over Skype. Which some people record over Skype, I do it for vinyl scratch tapes, I don't do it for anything else because it's a big time, like, crunch, not crunch, big time waste, not waster. Big time thingy. It can it can be it a little hard a to time. record live, but then again, a lot of directors like to record live. Yeah, um, it, it, if I can get away without doing it, I will. But you don't get as good of um, a performance either, because if you're able to play off someone else and you can react more realistically, otherwise, the best thing to do is you know do your lines in several different versions, like three or so. Like, yeah, I'm gonna play this one sad, now I'm gonna play it melancholy, and then I'm gonna play it sort of morose yeah so I mean yeah you do you do the lines first but first you have to get the part yes. before you even record that you have to get the part you get so, the part by paying attention to people and companies where they say oh, we're gonna open up auditions for a thing hi hi hello we're doing a panel you want to come watch us I do yes okay <laughs> have a seat come join you yes. no no have a seat so in the in the thing <laughs> yeah take a seat um, so how to audition, basically there's two ways that you guys can find auditions. You can go looking for them yourself. Uh, there are a few different websites that do voice acting auditions, voiceactingalliance.com uh, is one of the big ones. You go looking yourself, sometimes people put auditions up on YouTube. Obviously if you just want to do pony things, Equestria Daily, the nightly roundups usually have the auditions there. Hmm? I'd like to point out that I'm also running an audiobook. A My Little Pony on a Cross and Arrow fan fiction. You guys pull it up. Oh, yeah, stuff. I've heard about that. Mm -hmm. I'm writing the audiobook on that and forgot my flyers, but I got them in the lobby daily. So. Okay. I'll be covering that a little bit on my panel at 1 o'clock if, if any pony is interested okay. in that. Okay. Um, the other thing that you can do when you are looking for something is to put yourself out there yourself before finding any auditions. That's kind of what. Uh, uh, Pierce Smolder, a.k.a. Bald Dumbo Rat, so um, what he did uh, to get derpy. Um, it's yeah. what, I think Rena Chan did it for uh, Colgate. Rena's done it for Colgate and Vinyl, usually. And, um, oh, who else, who else has done, I, I had a voice in mind, and I, a person in mind I could not remember off of the top of my head now. Basically what that would entail is you oh, a lot searching. Of buyer. Oh, yeah, yeah. She, um, she does uh, the really cool Lyra voice, although she doesn't do much anymore because she's 
move beyond. Yeah. Basically what it entails is, like I said before, when you're getting started in voice acting, finding that natural range and then seeing if any character matches within that range. Uh, for example, girls, if you have a higher voice, look in the higher characters. Boys, if you have a lower register, Big Mac's probably your best bet I if you're looking for ponies. I have to um, say, like added to that, um, if you want to play canon characters, it's got a it's really more stringent. So you have to get your voice as close as possible and have the best acting quality as possible or else you're going to lose to somebody else who's better than you because everybody, like, for every person who plays an OC character, there's like 20 or 30 who can play um, a canon character who are just trying out specifically for that canon character because everybody knows what Twilight sounds like. Everybody knows what Pinkie Pie sounds like. Everybody, Fluttershy. Poor girl. Everyone, everybody can play Fluttershy. And it's even harder for guys. Because guys, I'm sorry, you have like five male characters that you can play. And one of them is a female voice <laughs> character. So, so when you voice act, actually, what my suggestion would be is if, unless you really just want to be in a pony project, work within your natural range. Find something that fits yourself and not a particular character that you have in mind. You will act much better if you don't have that canon character in mind when you're trying out for original things. Because those original things will just say, I want a semi-high-pitched voice for this character, quiet. Like, they'll give two words of description. You've got to find that voice within yourself. Yeah. I it's mean, the, not going to be a matching the process. Thing, the thing to keep in mind is canon characters will get you probably more recognition if you can get a big part in a canon, like a, as playing a canon character, but you will have more options if you open it up to playing OCs. If you let yourself play original characters... You can play. There's all kinds of things that have original characters to to play. Like, well, yeah, nowadays, yeah. Nowadays, there. Nowadays, there. And are. even not even not pony. If you want to open yourself up and try other cartoons, other animations, that's a great way to get in pony. Because if you get into something, you will begin to know people. And people yep. usually nowadays, especially in the pony community, they're just asking for recommendations before they even go out for auditions. If they find the person. They won't have auditions. We, we pretty much are a small, tight-knit community. Uh, it's really kind of scary how few of us there are and how many of us actually know each other. Um, if not know each other personally, know each other by name. So if you want to get into it, you got you pretty much have to put yourself out there as much as you can and hope somebody notices you. Mm -hmm. It's just making friends, finding your range, having acting lessons always helps. I have never had acting lessons. Um, it's, it's just something where... I guess I like talking to myself. I, I you too, huh? Yeah, why not? Yeah. yeah. You talk to, honestly, the best place to practice I've found is on a long car trip. Talk to yourself on a long car trip. Do funny voices. Practice. Just be silly and find your range. And then you'll know exactly what you can go out and audition for. I listen to NPR, and sometimes if I hear a funny voice or a funny accent, I try to emulate it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, accents are, always, accents are always really fun to practice. This is Ophabia Quistockton. NPR News. Daka. <laughs> Daka. Um, so, yes, that's, that's pretty much the process of voice acting. Find your range. Make sure that you can act in that range. Go out and both, A, audition as many times as you can. Don't limit yourself to one fandom. Try, try, try in everything you can. If it's something you enjoy, go out for it. Be okay with rejection because it's going to happen a, a lot. lot. And make friends with as many people as you possibly can. Because the more people you know, the more likely it is that somebody out there will need you for something. And it will probably be Pony. Um, also, invest in a semi-decent mic. Yeah. Don't, I mean, if you, if you only have access to a headset and you don't have the money and you can't do anything else with it, that will do in a pinch. But if you have access to a rock band mic, an LG type USB mic, that's what I worked on for the first year and a half. And the quality was almost as good as the uh, Blue Yeti that I got for Christmas last year. So it, get that, get a pop filter if you can. Pop filters, you don't have to use one, but you, there are other tricks you can do. I don't know all of them off the top of my head because I have one. But um, the other thing you can do, when you see somebody recording in a, in a recording booth, like professionally, their mic is up here. 
so it doesn't pick up their plosives in their breathing. Because if you ma act with this and you can hear all the breathing and the popping that I'm doing, that's not good. Like if you, it's the quality of the recording. It's more than just your acting ability. If, if you can't give something that sounds clean and 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 some semi-professional sounding, like don't just start rambling in the middle of it like I do sometimes. When um, this is a funny story about mics. Uh, when I first started out, my microphone was a twenty-dollar Logitech headset. And that is what I tried out for fighting is magic with. I don't know why the quality. I don't know why they took me with the quality that I had because it was awful. I don't suggest using headsets for your microphones. I suggest going up a little bit in your budget. The microphone that I'm using now was fifty dollars. It's a Samsung Theo and U. Uh, it's a USB mic. It's better than the Snowball that I had before it broke. Snowballs break very easily. Um, so just go up a little bit in your budget, splurge on that better mic, because if you get the better mic quality, they're going to take somebody who sounds good if they come down to two people in terms yep. of that mic quality. No popping, no muffling, nothing like that peak. will be taken. Use, yeah, don't peek. Uh, it doesn't really matter so much what program you use. I record using Audacity. It's free. Um, mm -hmm. Their GarageBand is one you can use if you have a Mac. Um, you can spend money on them and get a few more bells and whistles, but the quality is going to be pretty much the same for what we're doing. Um, export using Waves if you can't, dot .wav file or dot o o g g or whatever. Well, for that, I would say different directors like different, different directors. Types like some, of some so don't worry about the MP3. file type. Just ask them when and you, then, if you get a part, ask them what kind of file type they like. And then do everything you can to minimize. Peaking, which is where the waveform goes above and beyond, uh, above and below the top and the bottom of the recording thing, um, and that sounds—it just sounds bad. That's, so you have to make sure your your equalization is, you know, you're not you're you're not it's too loud. So sometimes, if like if I have to record something really loud, like I'm screaming, I either back the heck up and I yell, or I turn the thing down all the way and yeah. then I turn it back if, up. If you scream into the mic, it's not going to sound good. So the best thing to do with that, turn the mic intake down on Audacity, which you can learn how to do pretty easily. Yeah. Obviously, we don't have Audacity in front of you, so we can't show you that ourselves. So I'm not going to get into much of the actual software right now. No. But um, yeah, just remember that your voice can be dangerous in the microphone if you let it just explode. You have to have some kind of merit of self-control, and really that will help you keep the voice that you're trying to do as well. Control is very much the key. It helps also to keep, it helps to keep the uh, program open when you're recording and just keep an eye on it. Because yeah. if you're recording a line and you see that it goes a little wonky, like in the waveform that you can just say, I'm going to do that line again because that looks like it's going to sound terrible. So instead of stopping it, listening to it again, because that takes even more time. Yeah. Hmm? He's on the phone. Oh, sorry. Yeah, no. Okay. <laughs> um, so that's basically the basics of voice acting, especially for the Pony fandom. I don't really want to get too much into the software, like I said. It's more about your own heart with the voice acting, seeing what you can do. Unless there's so a question based on it. Yeah. Well, well unless we there's a question minutes. based on it. So. so, what would you guys like first? I'm just going to ask. Do you guys want to voice act with us, or do you want to ask questions? I thought it was voice acting. You want to voice act? Yeah. Does anybody... We have... How many parts? We'll need five parts. And two of them are boys, and three of them are girls. But if a boy wants to be a girl, that's perfectly fine. <laughs> no, <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I'm going to be playing Fluttershy for this. And do you want to be Octavia? Of course I will be Octavia. Awesome. Okay, so let me get the madness oh, together. Man. I need... First off, I need a berry punch. Who wants to be berry punch? Anybody want to be berry punch? All you have to do is act drunk. It's the least amount of lines. <laughs> Okay, I did see your hand first, so we're going to have you be very punch. Why not? Okay, come on up here. Okay, I need, let's see, a hoity-toity. Anybody? You need a flop voice. I need, I need anybody who would like to play hoity-toity. Do you want me to read off all the roles just so you can decide? Okay, I've got hoity-toity, I've got rainbow dash, I've got vinyl scratch, and I've got filthy rich. 
Those are who we need. So, does anybody want to be hoity-toity? Okay, you can be hoity-toity. Who wants to be Rainbow Dash? <laughs> anybody want to be Rainbow Dash? Anybody want to voice act and practice with us as Rainbow Dash? You don't even have to sound like her. You don't her. even have to sound like her. This is an acting practice. Nobody else will act I'll keep it in the back. Okay, we'll go on. Who wants to be Vinyl Scratch? Anybody? Don't be shy, guys. It's acting. You have to express yourself. Yes. Yay! Vinyl Scratch plays Vinyl Scratch. Okay, and who wants to be Filthy Rich? All right. I want to be filthy. Oh, you no, be the character. too bad. Too bad. I'll be Rainbow Dash. You'll be Rainbow Dash. Yeah. Yay. <laughs> okay. Boys playing lots of girls' parts. I would have written more boys, but they're not going to be Okay. Oh, and who's Mary Punch? I'm sorry. Who's Mary Punch? Mary Punch. Okay, boys. <laughs> Are we just going to, uh... Yeah, we'll just project. project. That's the word I was thinking of before, and I couldn't think of it. Okay, everyone. So we're going to be using our imaginations today, because I did not think that writing narration would be smart. Okay. Can you think it? Because I hate that dragon. Figment. I, I can't be figment. Let's, oh, let's move on. Okay. Um, okay. So there's an opening narration, and then we will begin, guys. Good luck. <laughs> okay, everyone. The scene is this. Fluttershy walks down the lane the day after her rejection of photo finishes offer from Green She's humming in a good mood, enjoying the near invisibility that she so missed, and suddenly she hears a psst. psst. Huh? Hey you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> You're the Philly from all those magazines, right? The one that nobody knows about now? Um, well, I I suppose. Great. We were wondering where you were. Come on. Huh? Hey, don't push. No, sir. Where are we going? Right through this door, miss. Okay, y'all. Found her. We can start. Um, start? Who are all of you? Why, the FNMA, of course. We've been waiting for you to start up today's meeting. The what? FN... Letters... What? Judging by your damn expression and choice, uh, choice of wording, you're unaware of fame, you Fame no more anonymous. And now we've been waiting for you to start. Jeez, we're all high and mighty here when you fall off the fame wagon. Wait, no, 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 no. Fluttershy, this is no new member you want to invite. Rainbow Dash, what are you doing here? Uh, that's, uh, my own business. But you should really save for sharing, for the sharing circle, dear. Yes, the sharing circle. Gather round, gather, gather round. We're already out of the free donuts and coffee. Let's get started now. Hey, no pushing. All right, every pony. Welcome to the FNMA meeting number one hundred six. I'm Filthy Rich. I was knocked down a spell by that new fancy fellow building up stall marts, and that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Characters. Oh. oh. <laughs> My hands are. Thank you. Thank you. Now, everyone, let's go around the room and say why we're all here as per usual. My name is Octavia, and I was once the head cellist of the Council of the Orchestra until this one convinced me to move. Hey, now, I was the head DJ at Main Hand's most jamming club. You're lucky I wanted to share the place with you. Girls? <sighs> that's, and that's okay. okay. Very good. Hello, I'm Horty Torty, and I was once the expert in all things fashion until they, well, forced me into retirement. <laughs> they thought my gray mane was more than this summer's coloring. <laughs> Better loud and proud, Gramps. Check out the action of this mane here. Oh, pretty <laughs> colors. <laughs> okay, we all know that Miss Rainbow is here because her autobiography was placed on the bottom of Cudgeous Monthly oh, uh, reading list. Hey! But who are you? Hey, wait, I know you. You're that purple mare who slammed and had the moves on the dance floor last night. Dude, you're awesome! Yep, my name's Barry something. That rhymes with much. Crunch, berry, sludge. And it's about uh, three minutes since my last drink. Drink? Darling, I believe you're at the wrong meeting. <laughs> sure you don't need to be at the Cinder Hall at Confession next year? Oh my God. I like you people. You're all my family. 
So that means we go get sugar cider and then more stuff. Yay! <laughs> right. Anyway, and your turn, darling? Um, well, my name's Fluttershy, and I don't really know why I'm here at all. You don't know why you're here? You were at the top, of course. I saw you in every magazine from Las Pegasus to Baltimore. And suddenly, whoosh, you're gone. Done. History. Well, I became just as much of a sad pile of this destitute, trudging gray as the rest of us. Yeah, it's boring, too. That's exactly what I said. You didn't even get enough time to write about it. Not like me. I wrote all about my Sonic Rainbow in my book, Dariness of Dash. <laughs> Why Rainbow Dash attempts to sell us a book five times each meeting. Hey, I'll take a dash of cider in this cider here. Think this is cider. Anybody think the floor's cider? Or whatever's not cider? Actually, um, I don't really mind being, not being in those magazines. That's the whole reason I told Miss Finish no. I'm sorry, I thought I heard... I'm sorry, I thought I heard you say that you told Photo Finish no. I did. You told one of the highest profile mayors in Cantalot, no, yourself? She didn't kick you to the curb? I got kicked in the curb once. <laughs> All right, someone just threw Hiya. me up there. But I, I thought you liked having all those people love you and think you were awesome and cool. No, they don't really. They only pretended so really you wouldn't get upset. So let me get this straight. You actually don't belong here? You aren't yearning for the spotlight? You don't drag all five of the stallions to play a scratch in the rig here? You have no need for hair dye to keep your current state of happiness? Not at all. I'm very happy. You don't need to have a lot of cameras watching you in order to have happiness. You just need your friends and family. Right, people, Dash? That, that's the silliest thing you've ever said, Felicia. What? Oh, how disgraceful! To think satisfaction could be gained in such a manner. <laughs> you don't belong here. I insist you no longer intrude on our meeting. But, but you will push me in here without me getting to say... I suggest you leave, Miss Shy, before I find you for the complimentary men members-only donut. But I didn't have a... Get out of here. Please leave at once. She soiled the name of the FNMA! Jeez, Fluttershy. But I... I... Don't come back without the cider! better than the expired stall donuts. Don't you find it odd you buy them from your competitor for the meeting, Mr. Rich? Shh! They're cheap. They're only a day old. You're weird. Fine. Meeting dismissed. Get out. So yeah, very good job to everybody. Thank you for volunteering. <laughs> we, definite, we definitely have a little bit of raw talent out there. So mm -hmm. yeah, seriously. Yes. yes, you guys, yeah, definitely think about working within your own range and putting up a sample because the faster you put your sample on YouTube, faster people are gonna notice you. <clears throat> um, so we have a lot of time. Does anybody have any questions about voice acting, about stuff we've been in? Anything at all? Yes? Hugs? hugs? Sure. <laughs> sure. Hugs. Hug, yeah. I don't care. Do you, you want to do it now? Do you know how much time we have? You can have a hug. Okay. Yeah, we have, we have, we have a good Come 15 Come on up and so. get a hug. You have time. Like a creeper. You should have been in the picture, silly. I don't bite. Get in the picture. 
Spirit. Holy Spirit, that's in one, two, and three. All right, thank you. Boom. Any questions, Zoom? I had a question about the microphones, but then it got answered earlier. So oh, well, okay. It will work. I'm sorry. Oh, uh, which one? Our rock band mic will totally work for it because that's that's that right. is what I used. Although um, they are very uh, sensitive. Yeah. So if you're gonna use one, use a mic stand. Don't don't touch it at all. Don't touch what it's step, what it's being held on. Like have something like this to put it on and stand away from it because otherwise it's gonna pick up like. And you'll have this in the middle of your recording, and that just sounds terrible. Honestly, it might be cheaper for you to go ahead and get something like a Samsung C and U, like I use, because it comes in a set that will have that yeah. stabilizer with it. I think, and then you won't have to buy a stabilizer. You won't have to buy a pop filter. It'll just be a lot better for you if you just get the pack. Yeah, if I'd have known about that, I would have probably gotten that. But I got a when I got it, or my mic. It was fifteen dollars used, plus a pop filter and a stand, and all together was like. 45 or 50 bucks for the whole thing and the whole you know it, hers is the same so i mean it's, it's pretty much you can get it all in one place you don't have to search yeah. so i already have a rock band mic and i've been wanting to try to get into voice acting like, and you are really good actors. you definitely should thank you um i i, I want to do voice acting as like a full career and oh okay the, since i got into the fandom i saw that it's like actually a really good place to try to get at least some kind of exposure it's a but very I, good jumping point i like i was apprehensive to actually use a rock band mic because I didn't think it would be good, as good as like a headset. Like I have a decent quality headset and apparently a headset. Like I actually tried to like audition mm -hmm. using a headset and wow. <laughs> headsets, headsets are hard because you can't control as much how far away you are from the microphone. And I think it condenses like It condenses crazy. everything. It's just not a good idea to use a headset at all. Yeah. Like I said, my suggestion to you, don't spend a whole bunch of money buying accessories for the rock band mic buy a mic pack try to get a straight up mic pack yeah because and i wouldn't get a snowball if i were you like my snowball was great and then it broke really easily it broke because my father tripped on it and the cord came out just the right way oh no that the usb thing wouldn't go in anymore and they don't sell extras of those they just sell the microphones by themselves so don't don't get a usb mic get a nice usb mic Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. I've like, you know, like a first set of people. That's a pretty good start, Mike. Like, like, one, like, like I have this ridiculous expensive but for some reason. Yeah. I had a question. What's a good place to record? Because I know, like, a, a most convenient mm -hmm. place to record is, like, you know, in the computer room and whatnot. Um, of course, there's, like, noise and fans. And I, I if I, if I'm being, if I really care about the quality of what I'm recording, um, I go in the closet. I will record in my walk-in closet mm -hmm. because the clothes act as a dampener. Yeah, and if you want further dampeners, hang up blankets. Blankets in the closet, that's if. the best place to do it. The place, though, that I did it in college um, because I didn't have... I didn't have a walk-in closet to do that. Uh, I actually, I had a futon, and I would set the microphone, and I'd get down on my knees, and I would set the microphone in the corner of the futon because it would act as a buffer with those cushions. Um, and, then, and then I would take my comforter off my bed, and I would put it over myself to keep the ceiling from getting echoey. The, so I made myself a little fort. <laughs> um, I, have a, I have a friend who's actually, technically I guess he's a real voice actor because he does radio Disney stuff out in... Texas, cool. Great Den. I don't know if you know him, but I don't know radio. He that much. he has this thing where he made a he took a cardboard box and he took the, the the sound dampening egg crate foam and like lined it with the in the side of the box and he puts the box over the microphone and he has a blue uh, Yeti like I have mm -hmm. and it's great. So that's like if you don't have a, access to a computer that can move. You know, you find something. You find a blanket. Find you know, if you want to go a little bit out there, take a box and put egg crate foam in it. You know, t t be creative. Uh, I go in the closet because a it's easier, and b I have a laptop, so I just sort of set it up in there and. And it. it's much easier to act when you're standing up. Much easier to act and project when you're standing up. When you're sitting, you don't get that support from your register. So I sit. I, I sit too when because I don't have much choice right now. But if you have the poss if you have the ability yeah. to stand, definitely stand over sitting. 
Yeah, I, I don't actually, I don't think I have any place where I could stand. That's pretty much why I said, I think I would stand if I had the ability to. Mm -hmm. I just don't have anything that I can put everything on to set it up that way. But yeah, no, it's, it's hard. I mean, I can do it, but I get really, your feet fall asleep. That's the other thing, if you're sitting on the floor. If you're on your knees and recording for an hour, it's interesting to try and stand back up again. <laughs> I, there's so many recordings I have where I go, and this is, oh, my foot just fell asleep. <laughs> <laughs> or if, if I'm, like, stretching a little bit when I'm trying to act and, like, I'm, I'm going like this into the microphone and ow, 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 ow. Oh, cramp, 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 ow. Yeah, pretty much outtakes. And I send them to people and because yeah. then they laugh. Like, yeah. I start, oh, with outtakes, I've started doing where if I'm doing Pinkie Pie, I just, you know, if I screw up, I'm just like, I'm just going to be Pinkie Pie and just talk to you and then I'll talk to me and then I'll reply, Pinkie Pie, that was really stupid. I don't care if it was stupid, it was amazing. Pinkie Pie, please. And it'll just be a thing. And people are like, why are she, this is amazing. And then I say, I do it for you. I actually, I will take, if, if, I'm, if I'm a little frustrated with the line, don't do this because this is so unprofessional, don't do this, but um, be, I do it because my, my friend writes it, Squeak and on, he, so he can take, he, he can take it, but uh, when yeah, I was recording for the latest, no, when I was recording for the latest uh, goodnight thing, um, and I was having problems with the line, I was like insulting him in goodnight's voice. <laughs> Because I was like, Squeak, I really, this is not cool. This line is terrible. But I wouldn't say it like that. I would just be like, yeah. Don't, don't do it. Don't do it. Don't be like me because I'm, I'm not Definitely, definitely make sure, unless the director is your friend, don't send bloopers with your stuff. Cut them, make them clean, send them out. And do it quickly because people get impatient. Yeah, don't sit on your lines. <laughs> yeah. Any oh. other question? <laughs> Anybody else? <laughs> question, question. Are we just gonna voice act for like ten more minutes? Do, do we want to? I don't know. We can have a flutter war, like you were talking about. The flutter off. Yes. I don't know if I can do that. I think we're just gonna have to do it until somebody comes out. Oh, question. Mm -hmm. Um, there's nothing much different. Uh, you're talking about like ver a real script versus like a song, right? There's not much different. Uh, for a song, I would suggest doing at least four takes. I would do four takes max, four takes min. Like do four takes for a song. And only record about 30 seconds of the song, but record the part that you think will be hardest for that director to find a match to because that's what he's going to want to hear. He's not going to want to hear the easy chorus that everybody else is going to record. He's going to want to hear a different part from you. Unless unless the specify... Right, unless it's specified, which it's not so much that songs and skits are different. It's more every single director will want a different thing. So just pay attention to those when they'll write audition notes out for you and let's just follow those to a T. Because if you don't follow them to a T, they will kick your audition out no matter how good it is. Theater major, I know what that's like. Oh yeah, oh yeah, you know exactly what it's like. Yeah. Thank you. Uh-huh. Uh, what are some websites to Um, well, Voice Actors Alliance is the biggest one. That's the one that I would suggest. That's the one where most people go to look for auditions. That's the one where you're also going to find some paid auditions. Like, uh, if you get the role, it, might, it may or may not be paid. They will specify that in the audition. They have tutorials for things also there. You know, yeah, and like they do have tutorials, voice things reels like that. that sort of thing. It's a really good community to get involved in. The people there will give you advice as well. If you want to put up, like, say, if you have a demo reel, which... I wouldn't suggest making a demo reel until about three or four months after you've been practicing just so you know your voice better. Mm -hmm. But if you have a demo reel, you can put your demo reel up on that website and they will give you advice on it. Um, let's see. YouTube is always a good place to look um, because YouTube, a lot of people nowadays, especially with the pony stuff, are making audition videos. If they're going to have <coughs> auditions, they're making videos. And then also directors are looking at different reels. Like, they will look up something like Fluttershy Sample, and they might come across my reel. They might come across, uh, I know Brie has a Flutter reel, a uh, whole bunch of different Flutter reels, and they will listen to all of them, and they will just contact the person that they like. 
um, Equestria Daily, the roundups usually have auditions in there if the directors have sent them in. Uh, those are usually the ones actually to go for because the ones that have been sent into the roundups are likely projects that are going to make it. They've been vetted. Not all the time is your project going to make it. No. You might get a part and never hear back from anyone again. I think two-thirds of the things I've tried out for and gotten stuff with have just dissolved because of organization lacking with the uh, the directors. Because they... People get in over their heads. They, they bite off more than they can chew, unfortunately. You just have to get used to it. You get used to rejection. You get used to... You get used to projects going away. When I was... Uh, actually, Silly Fully Studios came about through a project dying. It was the first pony movie that was going to be made, uh, Project Saturation. And then it died because of a whole bunch of organizational issues. But the ones of us that wanted to stay together decided that we were going to make shorter animations, which are much easier to handle. I would be highly suspicious of anybody coming to you saying that they want to take you in for a part, for the main part of a two hour long movie. There is only one movie right now that has a steady organizational process that I've seen, and it's Journey of the Spark. That is the only movie I've seen right now actually have an organizational system, actually make sure that they got to Hasbro and make sure that everything legally was good. They had me sign a paper saying that I wouldn't, yeah, a non-disclosure agreement. Like, those are the projects that you know are more likely going to make it because they show that organizational skill. Things that are shorter, more likely to go. Things that are long, Things don't don't trust a three-hour long movie with only one concept artist. Things that are less complex going to make it. tend to make it too. So you're more likely to get something like a, uh, an audio production over an animation because animations have that extra layer that can just die. Snowdrop took about six or seven months. And, you know, if, they're, if their animators had just decided they didn't want to do it, it would have taken either a longer or it would have died. Yeah. So. You had a question? Uh, more of an observation. Mm -hmm. If you're working on a project, I just want to point it out there, if you're working on a project and it does dissolve, mm -hmm. that's your blank on. <laughs> but if you're working on a project and you're proud of yourself and then it gets, it, the project dissolves, mm -hmm. hit up the uh, people who are running it and ask them if it's okay to put it up on YouTube. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah the, if, if a project does dissolve but you have recorded all of the lines, email the director, see if it's okay for them to put, for you to use those lines in a sample. You've already recorded them. Why not use them again? That way you don't have to waste your time doing a whole bunch of other lines. Yeah. So make sure, make sure even if a project dissolves, stay on that and use it to your advantage. Use that experience to your advantage. Even if it's just practicing or making a new friend through that project, it can lead to so many things. Keep in touch with all of those friends that you make. Uh, any other questions? I think we have... 9.58. Oh, we're done? Are we done? I, th I think we're done. We can have one minute of pony? One minute pony. Oh, okay. Do you guys want Fluttershy or do you want Derpy? Or do you want Pinky? Or I can do Twilight for you. Oh. <laughs> or Octavia. Or Pony. Octavia. Mm -hmm. Pony and Twilight. Pony. 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 What should I say in Twilight? I don't know. Pony. I need a Twilight for my Twilight. Dear Princess Celestia, Today, I learned that the people in the Central Florida Brony Group are really awesome. Uh, I don't know what else to say. <laughs> say it's hard for me to do improv improv is not easy people that's the one thing is i think that i've had issues with is when people go oh you do a voice do a voice and i'm like what voice what what and then somebody's like do the last voice you do and i'm like uh studies have shown that this medicine can cause <laughs> <laughs> And, yeah, and, and they're like, oh, act is like, I'm like, I don't improv. That, that's one of the worst things I think I've had to come really up with. Say, Can you come on my show and play this character? I'm like, unless I have lines, I'm not going to play your character because that's just going to turn into me doing the voice. And I'm really blue. The only, I'm really dirty. Yeah, the only way that I can do improv is if I do it with the character I relate to the most, which is that one right there. And uh, I can do improv for Flutters, but I can't do improv for anyone else. <laughs> there's so many times when I've, played, when I've uh, improv as Octavia and she's just ended up talking about stuff that Octavia wouldn't talk about without going into much detail. You guys have an imaginations. You, you can figure it out. <laughs> yeah. So, is that it? Are we done? 
Is that it? Technically, yeah? Okay. Well, thank you guys for coming. Hey, we are so happy people are coming. If you guys have any more questions, just feel free to come up and I can answer anything. She can answer anything. Happy to help. Oh, that was okay. awesome. That was so much fun.